Look at me, guys. I'm an artist. I mean, Picasso who? What is this? Oh, it's beautiful. Okay. Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another Cook With Me video. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Thrive Market. And today, as you can see by the title, I will be trying out some recipes from fellow influencer cookbooks, guys. So here are the four cookbooks. Very exciting. They were all very kindly sent to me and they're all by some really great content creators that you should all follow. I will link all their information down below. First, we have this fast, easy, cheap, vegan. Sounds like something I'd be interested in. <laughs> fast, easy, cheap, vegan by Sam Turnbull. She also goes by the name It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken, if you guys haven't heard of her. I made her a tiramisu recipe a while back and um, you you guys seem to enjoy that video because it was kind of a mess but it was delicious so yeah from her recipe book she has a lot of really kind of staple sort of items which I really love she has these things where she makes like a pancake mix or a waffle mix and I think that's a great idea I'm a big fan of doing that kind of thing you know in a batch so that it's easy to make those things later so I'm gonna be trying out her biscuit mix yes and then also gonna try out making the biscuits they look delicious I love me some biscuits so we're gonna try that out and then the second book I have here is the friendly vegan cookbook this is by Tony from plant-based on a budget and then Michelle from world of vegan and there's again a hundred recipes here and again this is a very kind of great for beginners sort of vegan cookbook lots of easy recipes lots of staples just seems really easy to follow I'm really excited and the one that I'm going to try today is the spinach artichoke dip oh it's Chloe's spinach artichoke dip I guess it's Chloe's recipe but it's in this cookbook and um, I don't think I've ever tried a spinach artichoke dip so very exciting to try that next I have live bees easy everyday cookbook this is I believe her second cookbook very exciting and uh, again very easy delicious everyday recipes lots of staples once again and I actually asked Liv what I should make <laughs> and she actually was like oh you should try the famous one pot mac and cheese recipe which looks delicious and you guys know I love me some mac and cheese so I'm gonna try out her one pot mac and cheese because that sounds really simple and yeah I'm gonna try that out and then last but not least we have simply delicious vegan by Caitlin shoemaker from from my bowl again beautiful looking cookbook we've got 100 healthy plant-based recipes in here and I am so excited to try this one this one is the fudgy tahini raspberry brownies oh my god they look so good and um, I mean the picture looks absolutely beautiful so I can't guarantee mine's gonna look like that okay but um, hopefully it'll taste delicious so yes I can't wait to try I'm very excited let's get started so the first recipe we're gonna be making is going to be the biscuits starting with the biscuit mix and then we're gonna be making the biscuits this is on page 30 of the fast easy cheap vegan cookbook very exciting we've got some flour here and into the flour I'm gonna just add in the ingredients for the biscuit mix which is baking powder we're also going to add in some sugar and some salt. So let's add that in. And then I guess that's it for the biscuit mix. That's very easy. That's the easy part. So I'm just gonna mix that well. And then I guess you can just store this in like a jar or you know any sort of container and then just use it anytime you wanna make biscuits, which is fantastic. And then I need to preheat my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. And then food processor. Do we need a food processor? It says, huh. So I got the food processor. We got it. And what we're gonna do is add one cup of the biscuit mix and the vegan butter. So we need some vegan butter. And then we want to pulse until the butter is incorporated and the mixture looks sandy. Interesting. Okay. So I'm using a food processor because you guys know when I handle dough and flour, it's just, it's, it's a mess, okay? So if I have the choice of using a food processor, I will do that. So we're gonna add one cup of this biscuit mix 
and then we're gonna add some of the vegan butter situation, which I have here. I've got like a big block. So apparently you need to use cold vegan butter. I really need to do another like drunken episode. I know you guys like watching me get drunk and try to cook, but usually when I film, it's like, it's like in the morning. So we don't want drunken rose in the morning, do we? I don't know. Okay, now what do I do? Oh, I pulse until the butter is incorporated and the mixture is sandy. Okay guys, pulse. I think it's best. Cool, I'm gonna use this unsweetened almond milk by Thrive Market. So we're gonna add that in. Okay, we're also gonna add, you can use lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. I have apple cider vinegar here. So we're gonna add some of that. Okay. Pulse again. We're gonna dump this dough and then we are going to knead it a few times until everything is incorporated. It says use a three inch round cutter. I don't have a round cutter, what do I do? I'll come up with something. Guys, I, uh, I dyed my hair yesterday, so don't mind my green fingers, okay? Maybe these biscuits will turn out green. <laughs> okay, I don't wanna over knead it, I think that's good. Okay, I need to pat it until it's about three quarter of an inch thick. I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna use this thing as my cutter. Oh, see, when there's a will, there's a way. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is make little discs. Okay, we've made, we've made the discs. Okay, very exciting. Oh, that was like pretty easy. I feel like I could do this again. Ooh, there we go. And then that's it. I guess you just have to bake it for eight to 10 minutes and then you're done. All right guys, so the biscuits are finished. I baked them for eight minutes and they look pretty delicious. They look great and that was so easy. I'm actually surprised at how easy that was. So I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm gonna try a little bit alone and then we'll eat some with a few other things. Let's try. Hmm. It's basically exactly a biscuit. Like exactly what I want a biscuit to taste like, you know? I got some jam on there. Mmm. I have here some like coconut butter situation that my friend made for me a while back. Let's put a little bit of that on there. Guys, this is perfect. Sam, you've done it again. These are delicious. And they're definitely a great staple to have. You can have these during breakfast. You can have these with whatever you want, but they're so good. I honestly just like it on its own as well. Mm. That was so easy. All right, I'm so happy with these. All right guys, so before we jump into trying the second recipe, I just wanna tell you guys a little bit about Thrive Market, who are very kindly sponsoring today's video. If you guys haven't heard of Thrive Market, they're an online membership-based marketplace, and they specialize in natural and organic products sold at a discounted price for their members. It is an awesome website where you can find so, so many different products, including grocery items, there's supplements, beauty products, home products, and so much more, and of course, tons and tons of vegan options as well. So their mission is to make healthy living easy and affordable for everybody. So how it works is that you sign up to be a member and you can enjoy member only savings. And they say that members save an average of $32 per order, which is awesome. And they have two membership options. They've got the first one, which is a month to month membership, which is $9.95 a month. And they have an annual membership, which is $5 a month. And so obviously the annual one is going to be a lot cheaper. Another great thing about Thrive Market, which I love, is that they have a program called Thrive Gives, where they basically give a completely free membership to a veteran or a family in need for every paid membership. So when you get a membership, you're actually giving a free membership to somebody else so they can also have access to affordable, healthy products. So guys, don't forget to check them out because today they're actually offering you guys 25% off your first order plus a free gift. So not only are you already getting the discounted prices, you're getting 25% on top of that and then you get a free gift. So it's an awesome deal. So go check it out. The link is down below. I'm gonna be using a bunch of 
of products from Thrive Market in today's video to help me make some delicious recipes. So yeah, check them out, you guys. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. And let's get on to the second recipe. All right, you guys, so for the second recipe, I'm so excited to try this. This is Chloe's spinach artichoke dip. So I guess this is Chloe Coscarelli's original recipe, but it's in the Friendly Vegan Cookbook. So this is on page 138. I'm so excited because I actually don't, again, I don't remember the last time I've ever had spinach artichoke dip as a vegan or as a non-vegan, so pretty excited about this. Let's go. Okay, so, First, you want to preheat the oven, and then we have a baking dish that apparently you want to lightly grease, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of, tiny bit of oil, just to lightly grease it. Okay, so we're gonna set this aside. Okay, now what do I need? In a large skillet, heat some olive oil. Now I'm using avocado oil, because that's what I have. So that's what I'm doing. So we're gonna do some avocado oil. Let's heat that up on this pan. Beautiful, ooh. Uh, we're gonna saute the... <laughs> oh my God. This is why I don't like using oil sometimes. I mean, that's a lot of oil. Is that necessary? Anyway, so we're just gonna saute the onions until softened. Ooh. The biscuits are done. Okay, so we've softened the onions. The oil has calmed down a little bit. And now we can add some garlic and red chili pepper flakes. So that's what I'm gonna do here. Minced garlic. Okay, we're gonna cook that for another couple of minutes. Okay guys, so now I think we're ready to, first of all, turn this heat down. And then we're gonna add in some baby spinach. Okay, we're gonna add some baby spinach in and then you basically just want to like cook this until it's just wilted, right? So about just a few more minutes. Okay, so now it's already like mostly wilted. So I think what I'm gonna do, I am gonna turn this off because it's gonna keep cooking as it sits on this pan. Okay, I'll set it aside here. Next we need a food processor. Again, Ugh. okay. And then what you wanna do is add some soft tofu or silken tofu. So we're gonna add that in. Ooh. Ooh. And we're also going to add whew, nutritional yeast. I'm using this one right here from Thrive. We're gonna do some nutritional yeast. So we're gonna do that. Ooh, let's throw that in there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. We're also gonna add in some lemon juice. And then I have in here some basil, salt, and pepper. Beautiful. Let's throw that in. We're just gonna blend this up. I think that's blended. I kinda wanna try it, it looks really good. Mmm! Oh, whoo! That's a lot of nutritional yeast. Okay, now we wanna add in some artichoke hearts. I've got a can of artichoke hearts, hearts, and then I guess you just throw it in. Yes, canned artichoke hearts. Let's just throw it all in, one can. We're also going to throw in the spinach. Is this gonna fit? Ooh. Okay, so pulse about 15 times. That was three, four, five. There you go, that was 15 times. It was very specific, ooh. So now I put this in the baking dish and then you bake it. Ooh, guys, that looks so good. That was really easy. Okay. I bake it now, guys, for 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's go. All right guys, so the spinach artichoke dip has completed and I am excited to try this out. So I'm just gonna dip with some tortilla chips and we're gonna try this. Mmm. Mmm. Similar to my 
tofu ricotta but because it's kind of using similar ingredients oh there's a bit of a nice kick mm, it's very lovely really really good i would definitely make this again all right guys so now it's time for the third recipe which is from live b's book and i'm going to be making liv's famous one pot mac and cheese this is on page 143 of her cookbook and i'm pretty excited because we all know i love my vegan mac and cheese and i love me some easy recipes that only require one pot so pretty exciting let's get started all right so first what we're going to do is add the macaroni into this pot okay i'm making half the recipe not that it matters to you but yes that's what i'm doing do i want to add this immediately okay you know what i'm gonna add the water first <laughs> so it says i add macaroni dijon mustard salt garlic powder and water to a large pot so let's add the water first okay so add the water and then we're gonna add the macaroni and we're gonna add some dijon mustard I'm using this one that I got from Thrive Market. We're gonna add some of that in, okay. Oh, yum. I like me my Dijon mustard. Okay, and then we're also gonna add some salt and garlic powder. I'm gonna add some salt here. Next, we're gonna add some garlic powder. I'm gonna add this right here. We're gonna do, I'm just gonna eyeball this one because there can never be enough, too much garlic powder, you know? So garlic powder, let's give this a nice stir. And I guess we're just gonna bring this mixture to a boil. And then you just let it cook for eight minutes. That's, that's very easy. Okay, perfect. All right guys, so it looks like the pasta is ready to add the other ingredients. Yay, so we've got most of the water gone. The pasta is pretty well cooked. So now we can add the other ingredients. So first we're gonna add some non-dairy milk. I'm gonna add some unsweetened almond milk. Some of that in there. Ooh. We're also going to add some nutritional yeast, of course. Oh, we're gonna add plenty of nutritional yeast once again. And then we're gonna add some lemon juice and tahini, which is all in here. Let's add that in. Tahini is gonna give it a nice creamy consistency, I'm sure. And then we got some shredded vegan cheddar cheese. Woo. All right, and then you just wanna stir this and mix it in. Very easy, guys. So if you're looking for a really easy, simple, just one pot vegan mac and cheese, this might be it. Oof. Oof. Mm. At this point, I've kind of turned off the heat. It's on a low heat, actually. That mac and cheese sound. Do you guys love it? Do you guys hate it? Some people think it's disgusting. <laughs> but I think it tastes delicious. Or smells delicious. Or sounds delicious. Why can't I talk? Come on, guys. Okay. Let's have a look. Ooh. I mean, that looks delish, guys. That looks super good. Let's just try it straight out of the pot. It's gonna be hot though. <laughs> I'm gonna burn my mouth. Mm, it smells good. Mm -hmm. mm. Very good guys. It has a very strong flavor from all of the different things that we added. We have tons of nutritional yeast, lots of that vegan cheese. It's like the perfect kind of like really comforting, almost like KD-like, like craft dinner-like sort of vegan mac and cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Thank you, Liv. That is so good. I'm definitely going to be making that again. All right. not least we're gonna try a recipe from Caitlin's beautiful book the simply delicious vegan and I'm gonna be making a fudgy tahini raspberry brownie situation so let's go so first I'm gonna prepare the uh, baking pan yes so she uses a square one but I'm gonna use a round one because I don't have a square one so let's grease it do I have to grease it it says line it with parchment paper I don't have parchment paper I'm just gonna grease it I hope that's okay. I'm just using that avocado oil that I used earlier, but it's just in a spray bottle thing. 
Perfect. And then we're gonna take some flax seeds and I'm gonna add some water to the flax seeds because that's gonna create our flax eggs, okay? So ground flax seeds with water is gonna create some flax eggs, my friends. Just gonna mix this well, set it aside. So that's done. By the way, the oven is preheating. I mean, it's already preheated because we did a lot of things in the oven today. And then we're gonna da -da 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 make oat flour. So we're gonna take some oats. I'm using these rolled oats here from Thrive Market. And then it's really simple to make oat flour. All you have to do is just throw everything into either a blender or a food processor and then just grind up the oats and then you have oat flour, very easy. I'm just gonna measure this out to be specific. So I'm just gonna take a blender and we're just going to add in. It says 105 grams, very specific, Caitlin, I like it. And I'm just gonna measure it out so that I know for sure how much I'm using. Okay, perfect. And then I'm just gonna blend this up. Okay, so now we have the beautiful oat flour, which has worked beautifully, yes. So we're gonna add this into a large bowl, oat flour. Okay, oop, oop, oop. Lesson learned, guys. Make sure your blender is dry when making oat flour, okay? So we have oat flour. We also have, we need to add some cacao powder. So I will be using Thrive Market cacao powder. Lovely, fantastic. Let's add some of that in there. There we go. And then we're also gonna add some baking powder and salt. Throw that in there. And then I think that's it. I'm just gonna whisk this until it is nice and combined, okay? And now, um, apparently you want to form a well. Can someone explain to me what this does? Why do I need to form a well? I still don't know yet. Um, okay, so we form the well and then we want to add some non-dairy milk. Of course, once again, we're going in with the almond milk. Let's throw that in. Okay, cool. Milk. We need some tahini. Now we don't want to use, apparently we don't want to use all the tahini but we wanna use most of the tahini, so we're gonna throw in most of the tahini. It's quite thick, guys. I think the rest you use for the drizzle. So we added the tahini, we added the milk. So we're gonna add, the vanilla is right here, guys. We're gonna add some vanilla extract, and then we're also gonna add some coconut sugar. I'm using this here. We're gonna add quite a bit of the coconut sugar, okay. It's gonna be a sweet recipe, what can I say? Oof. Can you imagine if I just dumped this whole thing in? Oh my God. Coconut sugar, that's a lot of sugar. Okay, cool. Coconut sugar is supposed to be healthier, I think. Yeah, that's what I will tell myself. And then the flax egg mixture, which should have thickened up. Yeah, I mean, it's not like, yeah, it's good enough. We're gonna add that in. And now we just mix until we have a thick batter, okay? Is this supposed to be thick, uh, liquidy? Is this supposed to be liquidy? Mm, I'm gonna say that that is fine. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so we have this beautiful batter and now um, apparently I want to fold in half of the chocolate chips. So I have some chocolate chips, vegan, of course, vegan chocolate chips. Let's just, uh, oh! <laughs> you know, I just remembered. Fold in the cheese. How, how do you fold it in? You just fold it in. Who knows that reference? Let me know. <laughs> so we're just gonna fold in the chips. So we folded it in and now that's it. Oh, half the raspberries as well, yes. This is a raspberry thing. So half the ch chocolate chips and half the raspberries. We're gonna leave a few of the raspberries in here, I assume for decoration. Mmm, yum, yum. And now we're just gonna pour this in to the baking pan. Ooh, oh my God, you guys, it's gonna be so good. All right, guys, look at that. And now, my friends, now we want to Drizzle the remaining tahini over the top of the batter, then use a butter knife to swirl. Okay, so the thing is, this is very thick, so how am I gonna drizzle? 
Should I thin it out with water? I think I need to thin it out with water. Just a little splash. And then I'm gonna take a whisk and whisk it. A whisk it. Ooh. Maybe a little more water would be nice. This is looking like not that pretty. <laughs> Looks like whipped cement or something. <laughs> Ooh, it actually looks whipped. Okay, cool. So now I guess we drizzle. Okay. If I can drizzle. Ooh. I mean, I'm gonna swirl it with the knife anyway. It seems like a lot of tahini. And now how do I swirl it? Uh, Caitlin, is there a method to this madness? Um, Ooh, okay, I can, I can make this happen. Look at me guys, I'm an artist. I mean, Picasso who? What is this? Oh, it's beautiful, okay. And now we just put the rest of the uh, chocolate chips on top. Should we make this into art? Yes. I'm trying here guys. This is gonna be so good. I can just feel it. It's a lot of chocolate chips. And now the raspberries. Guys, this is beautiful, is it not? Yay! I think this is ready to go in the oven. Yeah, so all we have to do is bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 28 to 30 minutes. That's it, and then you just let it cool and then it's ready to go. So let me throw this in the oven and I'll see you guys in about 30 minutes. Alright guys, so this is the beautiful, what does she call this? Fudgy tahini brownie or something? It looks so good. I'm very proud of the design. Okay. Anyways, um, I really want to try it. It hasn't fully cooled down yet, but as always, I'm impatient. So I'm going to try to just cut it out, cut out a piece. And it's it's very like fudgy, as you can see here. Oof. Maybe I undercooked it. I hope not. Oop. Uh oh, did I undercook it? It's good. I cooked it for the 28 minutes. You know what, let's just take it out. I feel like once it cooled, oh yeah, maybe I did undercook it. <laughs> Guys, um, should I throw it back in the oven or is that too late? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna throw this back in the oven for another like five, 10 minutes. I'll be back. All right guys, so I threw it back in the oven and I baked it for another like seven minutes or something and um i know it's not cooled down yet so i'm not going to try to cut it and all that stuff i think that once it cools down it is going to solidify that that's what caitlin said okay so i believe her and i know that it's tahini so tahini definitely like once it cools down it is going to get like more solid okay but i don't have patience so we're gonna just taste it okay it's definitely cooked up a lot more and i mean we've already kind of tasted it and we already know it tastes good but we're gonna do another bite Mm. This is very delicious. Mm. Nice and chocolatey. Love that little bit of raspberry in there. And the tahini is just so rich. And oh. Mm. I think once it does cool down, it's going to make a really nice fudgy brownie. Um, but oh my god, it's so good. Oh, guys, definitely, definitely try this out. It's really good. Mmm. you guys so that is it for my trying out recipes from other influencers video yes I really hope you guys enjoyed um, make sure you check out all of the creators I'll link all of their information down below as well as where you can buy their cookbooks definitely show some support and some love for my fellow vegan creators and yeah everything was so delicious I am just I am just in heaven, I am full, I am satisfied. And yeah, everything was so, so good. So I really hope you guys check out their cookbooks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to click the link below to get yourself 25% off your first order and a completely free gift. Yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Make sure you like this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.